Hey everyone! Ever tried running Android apps or games on your low-end PC and ended up feeling like you were trying to run a marathon in flip-flops? Yeah, I've been there too. It's not fun when your PC starts lagging like it's moving through molasses or just decides to take a permanent nap. But fear not, because today, I'm here to save the day with 11 of the absolute best Android emulators that work perfectly for low-end PCs in 2024. I've personally put these emulators through their paces, and I promise that even those of us with dinosaur-era systems can still get a smooth Android experience. So grab your favorite snacks, maybe even some nachos, and let's get this emulator party started. If you are excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. Bluestacks, the veteran emulator. All right, let's start with the good old Bluestacks. This emulator has been around for a long time and it's still one of the best options if you want a reliable Android experience. What's great about Bluestacks is that it's constantly getting updates to make it smoother. The developers know their audience and they've been focusing on optimizing it for lower-end PCs as well. The latest version, Bluestacks 5, has a lighter system footprint. It runs comfortably on systems with just 2 GB of RAM and requires minimal CPU usage. It comes with a lot of features like key mapping for games, a game mode, and the ability to allocate RAM and CPU usage manually. Plus, there's the Eco mode which is a lifesaver for low-end PCs because it drastically reduces resource consumption when you're running multiple apps. If you're someone who's been stuck dealing with constant lag, this mode alone makes Bluestacks a great option. One of the other features I really appreciate is the built-in FPS booster. This feature allows you to enjoy your games at a consistent frame rate, even if your hardware isn't top of the line. Bluestacks also has integration with Google Play, which makes it super easy to download and install all the apps you need. And if you're into multitasking, you'll be glad to know that Bluestacks 5 handles running multiple apps simultaneously much better than its predecessors. For gamers, the controls are also highly customizable, allowing you to get the best experience possible without any hassle. LD Player – Gaming Made Easy Next up is LD Player. This one is an underrated gem for Android gaming. If your main goal is to run games like PUBG Mobile, Garena Free Fire, or COD Mobile, LD Player has you covered. I like it because it's super lightweight and runs on systems with as little as 2 GB of RAM. Plus, it works fine even if your CPU is a bit older, as long as it supports virtualization technology. LD Player doesn't come loaded with a ton of extra apps that bog down the emulator, which means less bloat and more speed. There's also an integrated multi-instance feature, which allows you to run multiple games at once without killing your PC's performance. This is one of the reasons I often choose LD Player. It's simple, effective, and works well with low-end hardware. Another feature that makes LD Player stand out is its seamless keyboard mapping customization. You can tweak the key configurations to fit whatever game you're playing, which makes transitioning from mobile to PC super smooth. It even has a built-in operation recorder that lets you automate certain moves or tasks in games, saving you time and effort. LD Player also comes with a virtual GPS feature, which is great for location-based games. All of this makes LD Player a strong contender if you're trying to get the best gaming performance out of a low-spec PC. Game Loop – Gamer's Paradise Now, if you're into gaming and want an emulator that's solely focused on that, Game Loop's the way to go. It's actually developed by Tencent, so it's optimized for games like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile. Gameloop doesn't offer the regular Android experience. It's more like a game launcher for mobile games on PC. I'd say if you're less concerned with productivity apps and more focused on just gaming, this is a solid option. The thing I love about Gameloop is how smooth the gaming experience is, even on low-end PCs. You can run this emulator comfortably with 2 GB of RAM and a dual-core processor. It also has built-in key mapping and a very easy setup for controls, which is a huge plus if you're not in the mood to tinker around for hours trying to get the settings right. Gameloop also includes an anti-cheat system, which is perfect for maintaining a fair gaming environment. The interface is clean and easy to navigate, and it comes with a smart key mapping system specifically tailored for FPS and Battle Royale games. Another cool feature is the network optimization settings. These allow you to prioritize game traffic to minimize lag, which is especially helpful if your internet connection isn't the best. 
Game Loop is definitely a go-to if you're looking for something that's dedicated to mobile gaming on PC without too much fuss. Nox Player, the feature-rich all-rounder. If versatility is your thing, Nox Player might be your best bet. Nox is packed with features, but it's still light enough to run on systems with just 1.5 to 2 GB of RAM. I've always found it useful because it lets me map my keyboard and mouse to almost any function on Android apps, which makes playing mobile games or running apps like Instagram and TikTok feel much more comfortable. Nox Player comes with the advantage of being customizable. You can allocate how much RAM and CPU the emulator uses, which means you can adjust settings to prevent your PC from being overwhelmed. It's also got a macro recorder, so if you're looking to automate certain repetitive actions in games or apps, Nox is a solid choice. Another feature I really like is the root access option. Not all emulators give you root privileges, but Nox Player does, which means you can access and modify files and settings just like you would on a rooted Android device. This can be incredibly useful if you're experimenting with apps that require root permissions. Nox Player also supports script recording, which makes automating tasks a breeze. Whether you're playing games or using it for productivity, Nox Player is a solid all-rounder that doesn't compromise on performance. Bliss OS – A Different Approach Bliss OS isn't technically an emulator but rather an entire Android-based operating system that you can boot from a USB or install on your hard drive. This is an interesting choice if you want a pure Android experience. What I love about Bliss OS is that it runs independently of Windows, which means it takes up fewer system resources since you're not splitting between an emulator and an OS. Bliss OS is ideal if your PC struggles with running a Windows-based emulator because it allows your hardware to solely focus on running Android. As long as you've got around 2 GB of RAM and an old processor with at least 1 GHz speed, you can run Bliss OS without much hassle. It's perfect for low-end systems that are struggling to multitask. The advantage of using Bliss OS is that it can be dual booted with Windows, so you don't need to give up your regular operating system. Bliss OS also supports compatibility with x86 PCs and has frequent updates, making it a stable option for both gaming and productivity. It even has themes and customizations that give it a modern, sleek look. For those who want something lightweight and aren't afraid of trying something a bit different, Bliss OS is definitely worth considering. Hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to smash that like button. And while you're at it, hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss out on our latest awesome content. Android Studio for the developers out there. Okay, hear me out. Android Studio is primarily for developers, and I know it's not necessarily the first choice for a lot of casual users. But if you're interested in app development or just want to tinker around, Android Studio's emulator is surprisingly lightweight if you configure it right. By default, Android Studio can be pretty resource-hungry, but with a few tweaks, like reducing the allocated RAM and optimizing the emulator settings, it runs pretty well even on lower-end PCs. Android Studio's emulator comes with the benefit of being incredibly accurate when emulating the Android environment, so it's perfect if you need a genuine Android experience. You'll need at least 2 GB of RAM to run it comfortably, but if you're into development, this is a fantastic tool. One of the biggest perks of using Android Studio is the variety of devices you can emulate. Whether you're developing for a tablet, phone, or even a foldable device, you can customize the emulator to fit your needs. The speed improvements in the latest updates have also made it more accessible to those with less powerful hardware. Plus, you get access to all the development tools in Android Studio, which means you can test, debug, and even modify apps directly within the emulator. MemeU Play – Balance of Performance and Features Next on my list is MemeU Play, which is an emulator that strikes a nice balance between performance and features. It's known for running games smoothly, even on PCs with limited specs. I've found Memu Play to be pretty efficient on a machine with 2 GB of RAM and an Intel or AMD processor, which makes it ideal for those of us without the latest hardware. It comes with features like key mapping, multi-instance capability, and a gaming mode. One of the cool things about Memu Play is that it can switch between OpenGL and DirectX, which can help improve performance depending on your PC's configuration. This kind of flexibility makes it one of my favorite go-to emulators. 
Meme You Play also includes an integrated file sharing feature between Android and Windows, which makes it easy to move files back and forth without needing any third-party apps. Additionally, it has a one-click APK installation feature that makes setting up new apps super easy. I also appreciate its support for both AMD and Intel chipsets, which is not something every emulator does. If you're looking for versatility and performance in a lightweight package, Meme you Play has got you covered. Droid 4X – The Simple Choice Droid 4X is one of the lesser-known emulators, but that doesn't mean it's any less effective. In fact, its simplicity is what makes it a great choice for low-end PCs. Droid 4X doesn't come with all the bells and whistles of some other emulators, which means it's incredibly lightweight and easy to run. You can run Droid 4X on PCs with 1 GB of RAM, and it still performs pretty well. If you're just looking to run some basic apps or even play some lighter games, Droid 4X is fantastic. Plus, it's got a neat drag-and-drop feature that lets you install APK files directly. No need to mess around with any complicated setups. One cool thing about Droid 4X is that it comes with a built-in screen recording tool. If you want to capture your gameplay or record tutorials, you don't need to download any third-party software. It's all right there in the emulator. The interface is clean and easy to navigate, which makes it perfect for beginners who don't need a ton of customization options. If you're new to emulators or just want something lightweight, Droid 4X is an excellent choice. Moo Moo Player – The Lightweight Contender Moo Moo Player is another emulator that doesn't get enough love, but it's genuinely one of the lightest Android emulators I've used. It's developed by NetEase, so it's also quite game-focused. You can use it with as little as 1.5 GB of RAM, and it still manages to keep a stable performance, which is great news for those of us with older PCs. What's nice about Moo Moo Player is its smooth interface with very little lag even during intense gaming sessions. It's got a minimalist design and isn't loaded with extra features that might hog resources, which is a big reason why I recommend it for low-end setups. Moo Moo Player also includes built-in support for keyboard and mouse controls, and it has a smart key mapping feature that makes playing mobile games on PC feel much more intuitive. It also supports high FPS gaming, which is something you don't always get with lighter emulators. I think Moo Moo Player is great if you want something straightforward that just works without any unnecessary complications. Prime OS – Turning Your PC Into an Android Device Prime OS is similar to Bliss OS in that it's a complete Android operating system that you can install on your PC. It's not an emulator, but instead boots Android directly, which means it uses your system resources much more efficiently compared to emulators that run on top of Windows. Prime OS is specifically designed for gaming, and it has features like key mapping and GPU acceleration, which makes it great if you're trying to run games smoothly. If you've got an old laptop with 2 GB of RAM lying around, installing Prime OS could breathe new life into it and give you a very functional Android experience. One of the standout features of Prime OS is its DecaPro key mapping tool, which lets you customize your controls in a way that feels very natural for PC gaming. It also supports dual booting, which means you can keep your existing Windows installation and use Prime OS whenever you want. The interface is clean, and the gaming performance is impressive given that it doesn't have to share resources with Windows. If you want to fully transform your PC into an Android gaming machine, Prime OS is a fantastic option. Andy, an oldie but a goodie. Finally, we've got Andy. This one's been around for a while, but it still holds its own as a lightweight Android emulator. Andy is known for offering a complete Android experience. It's not just for gaming, but for productivity apps as well. You can even use your phone as a remote control while playing games on Andy, which is a nice touch. With only 1 GB of RAM needed to run it decently, Andy is a good choice if you're on an older PC. The interface is simple, and while it doesn't have as many gaming-focused features as others on this list, it's perfect if you want an all-purpose emulator that doesn't demand too much from your hardware. Andy also supports cloud storage integration, which makes it easy to save and retrieve files across different devices. You can also receive push notifications on your PC, which is a cool feature if you use messaging apps like WhatsApp or Viber. It's not the fastest emulator out there, but if you're looking for something that provides a complete Android experience with minimal requirements, Andy is still worth considering. And there you have it! 
the 11 best Android emulators for low-end PCs in 2024. Whether you're looking to crush it in mobile games or just run some of your favorite Android apps, there's something here for everyone. Just because your PC isn't top of the line doesn't mean you can't enjoy Android without the headache. These emulators will help you squeeze every bit of performance out of your trusty old computer without turning it into a toaster oven. So go ahead, give them a try, and let me know how it goes. If you've got any other emulator suggestions, or if you've tried one of these and loved it, or hated it, drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay awesome!